Hey guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies, and in today's video, we are going to be addressing a topic that hits all guitarists from time to time, and is that is how we as guitarists suckers. And I don't mean in general; I mean it suckers in terms of the tone quest. You know, always looking for the next thing, finding a good tone, and never sitting on that good tone. You know, moving forward, looking for the next new thing. I mean, it's it's a question that hits us all, and we're all guilty of it. I reckon. Everybody's guilty of it. No matter what level you're at, you're always thinking, oh, that's nice, I need that, or I want that. How can I afford that? You know, it must hit us all. We must all think of that at time to time. Can we trade this? Can we do this? Can we do that? Um, I think there's pros and cons, personally. I think if you can find a piece of gear and it genuinely inspires you, I think then it's worth pursuing, you know, worth getting. You know, if you find a guitar and you pick up that guitar and every time you pick up that new guitar, you have that feeling of inspiration just from the new guitar, then that's definitely worth pursuing, you know. Um, I'm currently in the middle of talking myself in or out of, I'm not sure, trading uh, my 345 and an SG against a Two Rock Vintage Deluxe. You know, and I, I, know, I should know better, really, <laughs> in terms of, moving gear, like if I probably moved more gear than bloody Pablo Escobar um, over the years, but I still search for tone, you know? It's kind of part of the fun. Getting new gear, you feel inspired, does it last long as the honeymoon phase over? For me, if I get a piece of new gear and I plug it in and play it and it's not hitting me straight away, I don't kid myself anymore, it's gone. Straight back on reverb and it's gone. Um, but yeah, the, the, other than addressing this, I wanted to see if any of you guys out there watching this might have a two rock vintage deluxe. Um, and if you do, do you have any thoughts on it? The 6L6 versus the C 6V6 limited videos. It's a massive, massive price tag. I'm, I'm well aware of probably paying over the odds for this thing. Um, it won't replace my Pro Reverb. That is just an incredible amplifier. Um, I'll link a video up there so you can watch it for you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, this video was mainly about how we suck us. The answer is no. If new gear inspires you and it makes you pick up and play, just like a golfer buying a new set of clubs, a boxer buying a new pair of gloves, it's all the same thing, you know? The only shit thing about it is guitar stuff is really, really expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play you out now. This is a quick video. Um, just want to know your guys' thoughts and also a shout out to if anybody out there is playing a two rock vintage lux. And if you are, can you let me know what you think? Uh, this is Richie from Fret Junk. He's keeping on the channel. It's a great video coming next. Cheers. Bye. Okay, man. So just following on from that intro, um, the, the gear that's inspiring me at the minute is a parts caster because it just is a parts caster. But I was particularly looking for a 7.25 radius neck. So I've got a neck. From Rebel Relic, very very good. Um, a Alder body, wasn't actually sure there. Um, and currently in that guitar as some Monty's pickups. Um, they're good, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit talk them. I like them, but um, I know what Matt Foley's give me. So um, there's a new set of them going to be going in there um, for certain. Um, but I'm just using that with an Ibanez Gemini pedal. Amazing. Like, I shit you not, it's incredible. I had to put it away in my cupboard for, uh, man. It's the first pedal I think I've owned, apart from my Shryman Flint. My, my girlfriend or my wife now bought it for me when I first started like playing in the band. Um, so I've got that going into my Pro Reverb. My Pro Reverb is on four, uh, free. Uh, Celestian pre-roller speakers. I'll drop a little video in um, so you can hear it. But this is inspiring me right now. This is truly inspiring. Um, the tone's great um, and it feels really good in the room. So yeah, if the gear inspires you, then there's fuck all wrong with it, right? <laughs>